This large display, which neatly fits into diagonal form, actually comprises of two 10 and a quarter inch monitors. In terms of display size, it puts the all new Kia Nero EV in a top position in its segment, not to mention the one piece design. You can control many functions from this panel, but the best thing is that you control the functions without having to lift your hands from the wheel using the voice recognition system. And if you're a sports fan, you're really gonna like this one. You can receive live sports results. With it, you won't miss a game of your favorite team while you're on the road. You can even make your own lists. How cool is that? The all new Kia Nero EV is packed with an array of advanced driver assistance systems. When you're driving on cruise control, let's say on a motorway, you don't have to worry about sudden changes in speed limit. This system called navigation based smart cruise control uses navigation data to adjust your speed according to local speed limits and road characteristics. There's another system that warns you from upcoming traffic, not just from the front, but other various directions. And it goes beyond warning you it even assists with braking and steering to avoid collisions. The all new Kia Nero EV is packed with an array of advanced driver assistant systems. The speed limit assistance, which you can follow from this state of the art head up display, which you can also check for numerous warnings and signals without having to take your eyes off the road. Oh, and one last thing. How often have you tried to park in a spot that's too tight or someone that's parked so close to you, you can't get in your own car? It's annoying, right? Well, the all new Kia Nero EV comes with remote smart parking assistance. This car is smart enough to get itself in or out of any spot in no time. You can select the infotainment system panel or climate system panel with a single touch. In infotainment mode, you can operate menus such as maps, navigation, and radio. You can control air purification and temperature within the vehicle on climate mode. If you press the infotainment or climate mode change button, the display switches back to the default setting screen in 5 seconds. Use priority mode to display the frequently used panel first. You can access the priority setting screen by pressing on the mode change button for 3 seconds. And you can set or disable automatic display switching. Park your car safely and conveniently with the surround view monitor. The surround view monitor allows you to check the parking spot and driving surroundings from the inside while using the wide angle camera. You can activate the surround view monitor by shifting to R or by pressing the parking view button. Touch the buttons on the left side of the surround view monitor to select from a rear top view rear view, rear side view, and a 3D view where you can view the video of your surroundings from many angles. Press the settings button on the surround view monitor and adjust the display to your liking. The electric parking brake replaces the traditional manual parking brake. Pull the switch to activate the electric parking brake. To disable it, press the switch while stepping on the brake. Make sure the driver's seat's door, the hood, and trunk are closed and the driver's seatbelt is fastened. Or in driving mode, you can disable it by stepping on the accelerator pedal. Auto hold when parking a car on a slope or driving in a traffic jam. By stepping on the brake, auto hold keeps the car stopped even when you take your foot off the pedal. You can turn auto hold on and off by pressing the switch. When in auto hold, the car will not move even when you take your foot off the pedal. If auto hold is activated while on terrain that is inclined about 25 degrees or higher, 
the EPB is automatically activated. The car will move by slight stepping on the accelerator pedal. And if you turn off the engine when auto hold is still on, the EPB will be automatically activated. The EPB is also automatically activated 10 minutes after auto hold is activated or when the hood or the door of the driver's seat is opened. If auto hold is active when turning off the engine, it will remain active when the engine is started next time. One of the first things you notice when you sit inside the all-new Kia Nero EV is their newly designed seats. Their thickness was reduced by 30%, freeing up considerable more space inside, giving a much more roomy feel to the cabin. The headrests have been redesigned too. They're slimmer and very stylish, unlike any headrests I've seen before. And very functional too, as you can see. If you're low on power, the new Nero EV can recharge both of you. I want to tell you about this very convenient feature on the all new Kia Nero EV. It's called the vehicle to load function. It turns the battery in your car into an everyday power supply for leisure activities and everyday life. With it, you can supply and operate any standard electrical appliance. Just push here, open this, and plug it in. You can power a big screen, charge your e-bike, or run a mini fridge. And while I'm here, let me show you this. If you've got more stuff to carry, you can tow up to 750 kilos with the new Nero EV. That's something not a lot of EV cars this size can do. The all new Kia Nero EV is a fantastic car for longer journeys. As you can see, there's loads of room in the trunk. And the cabin behind me is the best for the head and leg room amongst its competitors. Sitting inside, you feel an overall sense of roominess. And of course, there are some interesting extra features. Let me show you. The all new Kia Nero EV comes with this feature that allows you to lower the trunk's floor a little bit to add more height to your rear space. Remember that suitcase that didn't fit in standing up? Check this out. The back seats not only recline forward, but they also go backwards, so your passengers can sit a lot more comfortably. Or just completely relax like me. Oh, and there's more space in the front. Can't see why you'd need more space, but never mind. I'm not gonna get up and show you, but I'll show you a picture of it. See, it's called the front trunk, or frunk in short. Do you know what Kia Charge is? Consider it like a special club. This single card gives you access to over 300,000 public charging points in Europe giving you, in my opinion, very competitive prices and access to the Ionity high-speed charging network. But getting the power is one thing. How your car manages that energy is a whole different thing. Have you ever heard of battery conditioning? Well, lithium-ion batteries have a temperature range in which they operate optimally. That means that both the charging capacity and the output is affected by heat. The all-new Kia Nero EV has an inbuilt thermo management system that cools the battery down and warms it up when needed keeping the output and performance at optimal levels at all times. But that's not all. When selecting a charging station as your destination, the Nero EV prepares the battery for the best performance and keeps that performance high even in cold weather. Have you ever wondered what happens when you run out of energy on the road? I don't. See, the all new Kia Nero EV delivers more than 460 kilometers on a single charge. If you really tried to drive until your battery was empty, Long before that happens, the all-new Nero EV would reduce your speed automatically to optimize energy consumption. And even before that, you'll get a warning signal. So you see, there's no need to worry about running out of energy in the all-new Kia Nero EV. Use the child lock function if you are concerned about children in the back seat. If your car has an electric child lock button, you can simultaneously set child lock and window lock with the electric child lock button. 
activate the child lock button and check if the back seat door opens from inside. If your car does not have an electric child lock button, you can manually set the child lock. First, open the back seat door and check the child lock lever. Remove the emergency key on the back of the smart key, insert it into the child lock lever and turn it to the child lock position. Press the power window lock button on the driver's seat to set the window lock. Windshield wipers are essential in obtaining a clear view on rainy days. Let's see how we can replace them. First, turn off the engine and lift the wiper switch to mist, which is the uppermost position for two seconds. This will raise the wiper arms to the highest so that replacing the wiper blades is possible. After raising the wiper arms, open the lock cover on each wiper blade. Press the lock of the lifted wiper blade to pull it down and separate it from the wiper arm. Install the new blade in reverse order of removal and carefully lower the wiper arm. If the wiper arm falls on the windshield, it may damage the glass. Start the car and operate the wiper switch so the new wipers return to their normal position and the replacement is now complete. Control your vehicle remotely using the smart key. Press the lock button on the smart key and within 4 seconds, press the remote start button for 2 seconds to remotely start the car. Using the forward-backward buttons on the smart key, you can move the vehicle forward or backward from outside. Try pressing the tailgate button to open and close the tailgate. Press the emergency button on the smart key in emergency situations. If the battery is discharged and the smart key is not working, first, remove the manual key on the back of the smart key to open the car. After getting a new battery, use the manual key to open the smart key cover. Install the battery with the plus and minus symbols properly oriented and reassemble the smart key. Kia. Movement that inspires.